Hi everyone, it's Annalisa and welcome to my channel. In this twin flame connection, it is key for the Divine Feminine to continually choose themselves. And the Divine Feminine is either male or female. It doesn't matter what the gender is. But what's most important and the question that you want to ask yourself, Divine Feminine, is this. Are you choosing you? And you really have to be honest with yourself to be able to answer that question. Am I choosing myself? Am I putting my priorities in line? Am I doing what I need to do in my environment to reach the highest version of myself? Am I aware that this is my awakening this is my opportunity to reach my highest timeline. And you really have to be honest with yourself to be able to answer those questions. So this connection is all about you. And if you are making your divine masculine your priority, they will always pull away from you. When you start choosing you, and when you start making yourself the priority, your Divine Masculine will choose you as well because you are one. You are one energetic field. This connection will not look like any other relationship that you've ever had in the past because with other relationships, you were able to have conditions. You were able to negotiate and have agreements. With this connection that you have with your divine masculine there is no conditions the divine feminine must always 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 choose yourself first and when you do this the paradox is your divine masculine wants to be with you you allow them space to come back in this connection is like the connection that your creator, the divine, has with you. The divine always loves you unconditionally. The divine always chooses you. There are no conditions. There's nothing that you can do where the divine does not love you. So it is the same connection that you have with your divine masculine because ultimately, your Divine Masculine is the same energy. It's you. It's you in another body. And I know how crazy that sounds. How can they be you in another body? But ultimately, they are you in another body. And when you choose you, you allow space for them to come back in. The whole connection is your awakening. They came in to give you the opportunity to work on you, to expand your consciousness, and to know that you have all the answers. You have everything you need to choose you and to live your life in the best way possible. You're on an awakening journey. When you're on an awakening journey, your Kundalini energy force has been activated, which allows your spiritual gifts to come to force and your spiritual gifts allows you the opportunity to tap into your intuition to clear your chakras which enables you to tap into the quantum field which enables you to know that there's so much more to the universe than what you see with your 3d eyes you have your third eye that you can tap into which allows you to know that you are the awareness, you are consciousness, you are the observer of your thoughts and emotions, and that the ego has kept you stagnant and has kept you stuck. So your Divine Masculine came in to shake you up and to awaken you, to tap into your spiritual gifts that you've always had, but now has been activated. So it is truly a gift to be on this journey, which allows you the opportunity to expand your awareness, to know that you are that awareness, you are the observer 
of your thoughts and emotions. And that is what the divine feminine uh, struggles with and has to learn to be in soul energy and to come back to that pure soul energy. And that happens when you are in the now, in the present, in the now moment. And all of this takes some practice, right? It doesn't just happen overnight. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't be in an awakening journey, right? Otherwise, it would be a piece of cake, right? And we know that this journey is not a piece of cake. It is hard. It's challenging to come back to the present moment, come back to the energy of love, the energy of joy, the energy of calm. When we live in a world of chaos, we live in a environment where everything is separate. We are in an environment of duality. But when you start to ascend, it's about maintaining that vibration. That is when you can meet your divine masculine, which allows the space for your divine masculine to come back in. So it is a journey. Enjoy the journey that you are on and just allow the gifts to come to you. Allow your awareness. Allow just being present, just being and not to force an outcome, not to have a time frame of when your divine masculine should come back in because that will keep you stuck into wanting, needing, desiring something from them. You have to desire yourself, your true essence of who you are, which is soul. You are a soul that has been around for many, many lifetimes. And your soul is non-judgmental. Your soul just is. Your soul doesn't care whether your divine masculine comes back in or not. It's your ego mind that cares. So it's really about letting go of those thoughts and emotions that are keeping you trapped. So yeah, this journey is about you and choosing yourself. Are you choosing yourself? Are you pulling your energy back to you, focusing on you, raising your vibration, stepping into what your soul alignment is, your soul mission? And all of this, again, happens over time. And time, yes, is an illusion. So don't try to force anything. When you try to force something, you're back in mind again. And this journey is about just being, just enjoying whatever is happening in the now moment, whatever that is, and whatever is happening is happening for your highest good to teach you lessons. And the, although they may not be lessons that you want to learn, there are still lessons that is in your soul contract. So everything is divinely orchestrated on this journey. So enjoy the ride, Divine Feminine. There is no red button to get off this awakening that you're on. This awakening is a gift and that's how you want to look at it. Now, I know that if you are really early in this awakening process, all you can think about is your divine masculine and wanting them to come back. The further you are on this journey, you begin to realize that this journey is not about them, your divine masculine. They are within you. You are still one soul. You are one energetic field. Yes, there is another body there, but the more you focus on them, the more they pull away. So the whole goal here is to focus on yourself, your happiness, your joy, your bliss, and let the universe do the rest of the work. You don't have to do anything else. The only important thing to do is to focus on your happiness, what makes you happy, and choosing yourself and getting out of your thoughts and emotions. And I know that sounds easy, but it is not easy, of course. If it was easy, then everybody would be very enlightened in a quick amount of time. So if you need further help, I am still running my I Balance Me workshop, which is three days. So if your Divine Masculine has come back in after separation, or if you took my other seven-day course, 
or if you have a good idea of how to pull your energy back in already and you need some help with how to interact with them when they do come back in, I have a three-day workshop that I'm running on the 22nd of this month on WhatsApp messaging, so feel free to check that out on my website. I'm sending you all so much love.